Right, hi there YouTube and thanks very much for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Huddle 1 and basically when you factory reset this, uh, in short you get stuck on uh, the Wi-Fi settings. Now I'm going to show you how we can get around that and that's coming up on today's show after the intro. Now what you will need for this is any Windows computer, a flash drive, a copy of Rufus, and also the download file for the firmware which you're going to create as bootable onto thumb drive. Now I'll show you how to go about doing all of this as well, and I'm going to leave the links in the description bar, in the low bar below, about where you can get hold of the software for it. So let's roll the intro, let's have a look at the fault, and then let's go about rectifying that. And that's coming up on today's show. Be strong. Be strong. Okay, so we have our huddle here. Let's power the thing on and see what happens. So let's just give this a moment. And as you see, it's booting up. Now what will happen is, once this is loaded, it'll get stuck in the Wi-Fi mode. You'll see what I mean, and then it can't communicate over the internet. <clears throat> so let's just give this a moment. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll pause it and then we will come back once this is loaded. Okay, a few seconds later, and we can just hit the start button. Now, I've already got this connected to my network. So all we will do is just say next. And then this is the problem that we get. So it couldn't access the internet. And it reads, an internet connection is needed to set up your huddle. Please check your Wi-Fi settings or connect to a different network. Now, whichever network that you connect to, um, it's still going to do this. So what we actually need to do is flash the a new custom ROM onto the device and that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so I'm at my computer. Now, what you will need for this is obviously a bootable uh, flash drive with the software on it. And then you will need the cable to go to the huddle. So as long as you have the micro USB cable that goes to the huddle, you should be all right. So what we'll do is we'll plug the USB into the machine and we will strike any key. Now, you may have to go into a system BIOS to change your boot sequence, but that's fine. You should be able to do that quite nicely. And then what should happen, this is going to load up Linux, as you can see, and it's basically just reads, I understand what I'm doing and accept full responsibility for anything bad that happens. Just want to press Y for yes. And now it's going to wait for the huddle to be connected. So what we'll do is we'll just power this guy off first of all. Hit OK. And then it is time to connect the cable. So we'll do that like so and then when we connect it to the PC we're going to want to press and hold the volume up key I do believe so we'll just do that as it connects now it says are you ready to flash your huddle with the TMF custom ROM and I want to say yes and as you see, it's now writing the memory. 
So we will just leave that to do its thing. Let's move the microphone out the way so we can actually see what's going on here. And we'll zoom out a little bit. There you are. So we'll just keep giving this a while and we will see what happens. This may take a while, but we'll see. So you might want to get yourself a coffee um, or a drink of choice for this process. <laughs> it's a real time video this, so you can see how long it actually takes. And as you see, we're still writing our flash memory here. This should uh, remove that particular problem where you have a stuck ROM or basically where you have that Wi-Fi issue or you otherwise can't boot the hurdle. Now, in addition to this, you don't actually need to be in developer mode with the hurdle. This just pretty much should work straight out the box. So with your huddle powered off like I've just showed you, with the bootable USB drive, which is now in the machine, you load up the software and it should work. So it's just a waiting game really at this point. And as we said, this is for the Huddle 1. This may not work on the Huddle 2. So it's a real time video, this may take quite a while, but we'll just have to bear with it.
Right, okay, now it says that our huddle needs to be rebooted and the flash is complete. So let's see what happens. So we'll hit enter. And it just says that basically it will reboot into recovery mode, which is what it's doing. And as you see, it's erasing the uh, the older files there. You should just be able to see that. And I do apologise if you can't because of the reflection. But let me just try and get this a little bit closer. So you can see that. So it'll just take a while. So we'll give it a while. So it just says erasing and we will leave it like that for the while and I'll let you know what happens. Oh, it's just gone off. And now we have to press enter on here for our post install steps. And there we have it. We have our custom ROM installed. And what we can do is now proceed to essentially uh, set this up. So we should be out of that problem. So what we'll do is we will move this over to my smaller table and we will continue. Okay, so we're on the smaller table. We're just going to let this carry on. Uh, this may take a few minutes or so, but the custom ROM, as you see, is now done and essentially now what we can say is just no thanks to that okay and we have a fully functioning huddle so how good is that i'm going to leave the links in the description uh, for the software uh, that will resolve this problem for you so that's now fixed and what we can do is essentially just proceed to close out. Right. So there we have it, YouTube. We've got the huddle up and running perfectly fine. And now what we will uh, pretty much do is we will move over onto <coughs> the computer and I will show you um, where you get the necessary files for that. As I said, everything will be linked in the description bar below uh, in any event, so you can do it uh, yourself. But this is pretty much just the end for this segment. It's not the end of the video, because as I said, we're going to move over onto the computer now, and I'll show you how to create the bootable USB in order to put the the files onto that so you can reboot your huddle. Okay, so to create this bootable um, software that we need for the huddle, this is really quite simple to do. So what we'll do is we will open up a, a window and you will go to the um, Rob stuff that I will leave um, in the description bar. So what we will do is, let's just move this over here. Uh, no, that's not worked. Let's just move this over here. And we want a bootable USB drive, so we'll click that. Download the thumb drive image. So we will go to that repository. All of this is linked. 
okay and then basically what you want to do is you want to hit this one here so you scroll down to where it says assets and then you've got TMF huddle thumb drive uh, version 1.zip so we'll click that and as you see here it's downloading so we'll just give this a moment now that that's done that okay what you'll need to do is extract that to your desktop now I've already done this but I'm going to show you how to do it again because it's really easy it's so so easy so what we will do is go into our download section which is here and I'm going to right click that and I'm going to say extract the files and then because we're going to be using obviously WinRAR for this extract it to the desktop and hit OK I'm just going to say yes to all there and you'll see that this is quite a quick machine I'm running Windows 10 so it's not a problem you can do that and then as you see we should have it on the desktop it's one of them there it is so now what we will do is using a tool called Rufus which I will leave the link for that in low bar as well where you can get Rufus okay so we'll plug our USB into the machine hit Rufus say yes to that and then I'm gonna select my so scroll down TMF huddle thumb drive hit open and it's pretty much gonna do this all for you and then hit start and we'll just give this a moment while it writes the image <coughs> refreshing partitions and it's done so now that we have our bootable um, flash drive you can essentially just go back to the earlier part of this video and you can just follow it it's really that easy <laughs> it's it's that easy pretty much so that's all there really is to and we can just leave it there so in short YouTube thanks very much for sure out to uh, Rob stuff for making this possible. so Rob the May family um, it's dedication to to Rob and the family for making that happen uh, it looks like I got slightly beaten to the uh, creation of this myself but at least now we have a fix for the huddle one so that's perfect it took me a while to figure this out but we have a fix so in the meantime youtube thanks for watching